in just a second. I suppose I should introduce myself to you before you, before I even show you the surprise that I have in the distance. My name is Taylor, and on camera with me today is Mano. What am I even saying, Manu? Why did I say Mano? <laughs> It's going to be one of those days today. Sorry, Manu. I think I was going to incorporate something with your fancy hand movement, and then I just got distracted. But anyway, something that I will not get distracted with, and actually is hopefully going to walk out in the gap, which would be perfect for us, is a big elephant with a tiny little elephant following after. Now, I don't know if this is the same cow that we saw that had the tiny little elephant the other day. I don't know. Now I'm thinking, does she not maybe have one tusk? Maybe someone can go back and have a look at the screenshots. But it is a rather small little elephant walking in, in pretty much the same area. And um, I don't think that mom would travel too far with that tiny little calf we saw the other after two afternoons ago, in fact. It was still very wobbly on his feet, so I suspected that we may have maybe seen them in uh, in the area ah, okay so it's not our little one that we saw but it's still a tiny tiny tot nonetheless that car did only have one tusk but it's amazing how there's lots and lots of little elephants around at the moment i mean typically elephants don't have uh, a breeding season because their gestation period is so long it's very hard to try and sink it and you know to do with the seasons but Oh, great. Uh, lots of little ones around at the moment, and it's a good time for them to be about because mom will be super healthy after all the rain that we have had. The grass is lush. It'll be high in nutrients, which means that she'll be producing the best possible milk for her little ones. So it'll have the best chance of survival, which is wonderful. There we go, trying to use its trunk but not able. Now, if you have just joined us this morning, again, a big welcome. Remember, you can chat to us on this live and interactive safari. You can hashtag Safari Live on Twitter, or you can chat to us via the YouTube chat. And it's a great way to start the day with my favorite animals in the whole wide world. Now, that's not all that's in and around this area. We're actually at the Angama's favorite lugger. And we will be doing the scenic way around uh, to get to the other side because I did spot them on the other side of the drainage, but they were flat in the grass. I couldn't see if they'd eaten anything, um, but we will go around and investigate at some point. I just got very excited. I thought, oh, wouldn't it be nice if we could follow up on our teeny tiny elephant and see if its wobbliness has uh, lessened. Um, but we'll have to keep searching a little bit harder. Maybe we'll find them around here at some point. So that could be quite nice to see. I know how how great it is. And it's actually very difficult to watch specific elephants grow up, well, and you know, getting regular sightings of them because they do like to move away and move into the thickets where we can't, you know, sort of get into. This is fairly young though. This Ellie's probably maybe a month or two old, sticking right next to mom, desperately trying to pull vegetation, but unfortunately not winning at all. The concentration level that is on that elephant's face right now is amazing. <laughs> Shame you didn't even get anything. What you might find this little one doing is going up to mom when she has a tuft of grass in her trunk and trying to pull a couple of strands loose or sometimes even eating her dung. They like to do that too at this age. It's sometimes easier to eat the partially digested grass and well, you don't, it, doesn't make, uh, it doesn't take much effort to put it in your mouth. No, I didn't do it. Here's a question that I'm not going to be able to answer ever until I feel an elephant's skin, and that is, what would you compare elephant's skin to? Like sandpaper? I can't answer that, unfortunately, because I've never touched an elephant before, so I haven't got a clue as to what it feels like. But um, maybe Jamie has an idea, so we can always pass that question on, on to her. Like I said, I haven't, haven't even touched any of the big cats. I don't know how soft their fur is. I, I, I don't know how to, well, what any of those things feel like. But I would like to um, have a look at an elephant one day. Maybe when I go on holiday, I will I'll go and visit one of the orphan, elephant orphanages in uh, Nairobi, which could be quite cool. Then I'd definitely, very sad, of course, but um, it would be nice uh, to maybe go and have a look. And that might be the only opportunity that I get to see an elephant up close. And at least I know that they're doing their best and, and reintroducing them back into the wild, which is fantastic. 
But there they are, quite far away from the escarpment. I don't think these Ellies were up the escarpment last night. I think they were just hanging around in the forests and uh, that well, that are just behind the car. I think that would have been a good enough spot. I think it would be difficult for this little one to be walking up such steep hills. So you might find they change their habits just slightly, just until the youngsters are fit enough and you know old enough to keep uh, keep up with the rest of the herd. Because you know how exhausting it can be sometimes walking up a hill and that escarpment is not a great uh, a, uh, trying to say two words at once and not a gentle slope either uh, it's quite steep I think I'd take maybe 10 steps up it and then pass out and roll back down that's probably what would happen and there they go but let's make our way around to the other side to the lions and see what they're up to Oh, oh, hang on. Why is that lion running? What's here? What's here? We're, now we're on the wrong side of the drainage line. I think it's going to be quicker if we go back. Um, these lions are running after something, but we're so far away. There's a wildebeest. I don't think we're going to see it, Manu. I need to race if I'm going to get to the other side to catch this.